Welcome. In this video we're going to talk about using and managing the task queue in Micromain. The task queue can be accessed from your home screen in Micromain. It is a shortcut located in the center. Once selected, this brings the user to their specific task queue where they can see what's assigned to them, what's in their queue, what's assigned to their shop as well. They have many filter options on this page such as me, my queues, unassigned, and others, and then also show open and show all. Any user accessing this screen also has a drop down located at the top that gives access to many other filters such as work orders, statuses, services, assets, priorities, types, and a drop down that allows you to filter by specific staff, contractor, vendor, and shop queues as well. These can be saved by clicking the Save or Recall Filters button here and recalled at any time for the user when they come in to this screen. On this screen, the user will see a task number and work order number, the service and shop, the asset and location, the start date and due date, any resources associated with the task, a priority for the task, their time worked on it, and then a timer that allows them to start and stop work on that task whenever they are completed with it. On some tasks in a user's queue, they may not be assigned specifically to that person. Instead, they're assigned to their shop queue. For example, all labor associated with HVAC would be associated with the HVAC shop queue. And in that case, any user logging in is going to see a take button on their tasks, which means they have not had it specifically assigned to them, but it is available for them to pick up at any time. Once they select this button, they are immediately assigned to that task and now have the ability to start and stop work on it as needed. On this screen, they can also see different resources associated with their tasks, such as the labor assigned to it, parts, and any documents as well. Once they're finished with their work order, they can stop the time on it and then also drop the status down here to complete. Once it's incomplete, it drops off of that user's queue list. Once again, they can start working on it by hitting the play button. When finished, they can hit the stop button and then also drop that into the complete status as well. In order to return back to our home screen, Select the Micromain Global icon in the top left hand corner and you're back on your home screen. This concludes using and managing the task queue in Micromain.